I want to thank you again for stopping by PC by Design. And today I'll be going through a very simple build of your basic PC using the Cooler Master Elite 330 case. I typically begin the install by prepping the case by removing the front panel and also removing any plates that are covering optical base that I'll be using. After prepping the case, removing the front panel, um, I then, with basically and removing those plates, I actually then will go ahead and install the optical drive here, making sure that you're grounded to your case. Um, I use a static cord um, connected to my wrist, but there are several other ways that you can ground yourself. One of the ways is by pre-installing the power supply and plugging that in which will help ground you as well or you can take any metal screwdriver or whatever and ground yourself to the case prior to beginning your install. At this point the case that I'm using has some very um, easy toolless um, brackets for installing optical drives as well as your hard drives. Basically just a simple turn, sliding it in, lining it up and back in, clicking them into place and um, moving on from there. So we're going to install that. I've pre-installed the optical wires um, to the CD drive or DVD ROM drive so that I can install those later onto the motherboard which will be inserted next. I then go ahead and install the power supply prior to putting in the motherboard. This makes it a little bit easier to maneuver around before uh, because it's very difficult to install a power supply after the heat sink has been applied or installed onto the motherboard. So I typically will start with that. For the motherboard, I will prep the motherboard by pre-installing the heat sink as w heat sink and fan to the CPU, being sure to apply a small amount, even coat of the thermal paste to the heat sink, or actually to the CPU area. I um, then go ahead and pre-install the RAM into its respective slots. If you're using dual channel, you'll need to make sure you refer to your motherboard. Um, I then go ahead and will pre-connect the front panel wires. Um, this aids me in being able to handle a little, to manage the wiring and cabling a little bit better it'll give me an opportunity to see where everything's going to kind of lay out at. Go ahead and line the motherboard up onto the standoffs that have been installed in the case prior to installing the motherboard. I'll then kind of move the wiring a little bit to create a good area to mount or secure the wiring out of the way to not hinder the airflow within the case. Be sure to to connect your all your power cables and your IDE cables or serial ATA cables to your optical drives, your hard drives, and all the necessary components that you've installed. At this point, I'm only installing one hard drive, one optical drive, and they are installed onto an IDE cable. Once I've connected all the power supplies or the power Molex is to the optical drive and the hard drive. I'll then go ahead and work a little bit more on managing the wiring again to increase uh, or to help with better airflow within the case. Again, keeping all the components cooler by using proper cable management and not restricting any airflow. Then reinstall the front panel back to the case itself. Then go ahead and get the case into a position so you can reinstall your side panel. I typically will only install the right side panel first because I still have to go back into um, the motherboard area to install the video card, which I'll be doing next. At this point, I'm um, just again making sure I've got good wire management, I'm going to go ahead and take out the slot where I'm going to be inserting the video card. I'm going to insert the video card again, 
you'll want to make sure you're using the proper video card for your motherboard. And that only requires, again, um, referring to your manual to make sure you're installing the right type of um, video card in for the motherboard that you'll be using. I'll then at this point go ahead and reinstall the side panel to the left side of the case. And um, at this point, pretty much finished with this particular build. Again, some of the details I've kind of skipped beyond, but this is your basic PC. Again, I want to thank you for tuning in to PC by Design. And remember to subscribe to my website, PCbyDesign.com, to get other helpful computer and PC gaming info. Thank you again. Have a great day.